Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. For today's video, we traveled out to Troy, North Carolina to the Uari National Forest to test out the recently updated 2016 Lexus LX570. In addition to thorough road testing like I typically do, we're at their off-road training facility to see what this thing really is like off the road with its four-wheel drive system, different you know, off-road modes, the electro-pneumatic suspension, and all of the goodies that come into this package because like the Range Rover diesel we tested out recently, this is something that you can legitimately take off-road and be super comfortable doing it. We're going to talk about the LX and all of the changes that came for the 2016 model year, all of the different features that this particular one comes with. I'll show you how to use all the different off-road modes. We'll talk about performance, fuel economy, quality, and all of that good stuff. And of course, all of the unique aspects throughout the interior as well as exterior. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in, start her up, let her run. Like all new Lexus products, a remote smart key access system comes as standard equipment. As long as you have the key fob in your pocket, you can use the touch sensors on all the door handles to lock and unlock the vehicle. Once you're inside, there's also push button ignition, and it works in the same fashion. The vehicle will recognize the key fob. All you have to do to start, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to go. The Lexus LX sports multiple personalities. Based on the Toyota Land Cruiser, it was originally introduced back in 1996 as the brand's first full-size luxury SUV. The LX570 has been on sale since 2008 and represents the model's third generation. Aside from your typical year-to-year -year updates, the most significant changes up to this point came last year, where it received a comprehensive refresh. Along with a modern styling treatment inside and out, the LX benefits from a wide range of new features including drive modes, a new 8-speed automatic transmission, an expanded use of advanced safety tech, and more. It also has enough room to seat up to 8 passengers. Of course, this segment is packed with options to choose from, but when looking at offerings that boast genuine off-road abilities, those choices become far more limited. Taking price into consideration, the LX primarily competes against the Land Rover Range Rover. While they're similar in many ways in terms of those off-road abilities, the LX sets itself apart by having a third row seat, something that isn't available on the Range Rover. 2017 models start at $90,375, including a $995 destination fee. But an example equipped like this one shown here would retail for about $97,960. Looking at it from the outside, only the door panels continue from the 2015 and earlier models. Everything else wears a fresh look, including a restyled front end that features a bolder rendition of the signature Lexus spindle grille. It's framed in chrome and complemented by new LED headlamps, turn signals, and fog lamps. The tail lamps and rear bumper also receive a new look and there's two new wheel options. 20 by 8.5 inch alloys are standard, while these 21 inch split 10 spoke alloys come at a $745 premium. They're wrapped in 275.50 all season tires. Stopping the LX from 60 miles an hour takes about 118 feet thanks to four wheel internally ventilated disc brakes measuring 13.9 inches in front and 13.6 inches in the rear. Along with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, the ABS system is able to adapt to varying terrain to optimize lockup control, leading to confident and consistent stopping power wherever you are. The LX is built using robust body-on-frame construction, consisting of a reinforced ladder-type frame and plenty of high-strength steel within the body shell. Its off-road prowess begins with a permanent four-wheel drive system with a default torque split of 40% and 60% between the front and rear respectively. A torsion limited slip center differential is able to vary the distribution of torque automatically based on changing road conditions and terrain. When off-road on more challenging surface conditions, the differential can also be locked. 
On top of that, the LX has a system known as Active Traction Control. It works at all four wheels to control slip. Using the multi-terrain select system, which can be found in the center console, you're able to match the responses of the traction control system to the current conditions. There's five modes, including rock, rock and dirt, mogul, loose rock, and mud and sand. For uneven terrain and steep hills, a driver's selectable low range provides a low speed 2.618 crawl ratio. Assisting low range is crawl control with turn assist, which is a type of low speed cruise control for off-roading that's also able to break the inside rear wheel to tighten the turn circle. Hill start assist is also standard to keep the vehicle from rolling back when transitioning from the brake to the gas pedal on either a steep incline or slippery surface. Direction is provided by Lexus's variable gear ratio steering with engine speed sensing hydraulic power assistance. That being said, the steering ratio is able to vary between 14.2 and 17.6. The turning circle is measured at 38.7 feet. In short, it leads to comfortable, smooth, and responsive behavior at any speed while ensuring proper control and feedback when off-road. It's more relaxed at low speeds and more precise at higher speeds. The LX's excellent ride quality and off-road manners can be attributed to an electrohydraulic suspension with four-wheel active height control and automatic load leveling. The shock absorbers are also adaptive and can automatically adjust damping rates based on either the drive modes or changing road conditions. The suspension design consists of coil springs and independent double wishbones up front, while the rear also features coil springs with a four-link lateral rod type setup. The LX normally rides 8.9 inches off the ground, but it can be raised or lowered on demand to either gain some extra ground clearance or improve ingress and egress. At its normal height, the approach, breakover, and departure angles are rated at 25, 23, and 20 degrees respectively. Those numbers are increased significantly when the suspension is raised. Maximum towing capability is 7,000 pounds. The only engine offered is a 5.7 liter V8, hence the name LX570. The block and heads are constructed from aluminum, while the valve train consists of four valves per cylinder, dual variable valve time, and a double overhead camshafts. Fuel is delivered via sequential multiport injection. The compression ratio is rated at 10.2 to 1, accompanied by a red line of 6,000 RPM. It develops a healthy 383 horsepower at 5,600 RPM and 403 pound-feet of torque at 3,600 RPM, which can propel this 3-ton SUV to 60 miles an hour in about 7.3 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited to 137 miles per hour. Another revision for 2016 was the adoption of a new 8-speed automatic to replace the previously used 6-speed. It's electronically controlled and features adaptive shift technology. The 8-speed delivers smooth and responsive performance with marginally boosting fuel economy. It can even be shifted manually by a set of paddle shifters mounted behind the steering wheel. Along with the new transmission, there's the new Drive Mode Select system I mentioned earlier. Similar to what you would find in other Lexus vehicles, it allows you to tailor powertrain and suspension responses by simply twisting a dial on the center console. The modes consist of Eco, which optimizes the powertrain and air conditioning to prioritize fuel economy, Comfort, which relaxes the dampers for a smoother ride, Sport, which increases powertrain response and firms up the steering, and Sport Plus, which firms up the dampers to produce sharper handling response. EPA fuel economy estimates range between 13 miles per gallon in the city and 18 miles per gallon on the highway. Expected average is around 15 miles per gallon. The LX requires the use of premium fuel with a capacity of 24.6 gallons. To me, the biggest impact that last year's refresh had was with the interior, as most of what you see is all new. As with any Lexus, the build quality and attention to detail is some of the best out there. There's premium materials and finishes galore including leather, wood, and aluminum. Generally, everything is easy to use and understand. The current generation Range Rovers are a bit cleaner when it comes to the amount of buttons across the dash and center console, but the LX still remains functional and intuitive. There's a ton of features packed into this vehicle. Both front seats, of course, come with full power adjustments, 14-way for the driver and 12-way for the passenger. They're extremely comfortable with excellent overall support and plenty of padding where it matters the most. Both seats have adjustable lumbar support, while the driver also benefits from a thigh extender. The steering wheel is powered as well and adjusts for both tilt and reach. 
With the optional luxury package as shown here, semi aniline perforated leather is added to all three rows of seats alongside heated and ventilated front and heated middle row seats. Standard features include four zone climate control, navigation, a backup camera, a power sliding second row seat, and a power retractable third row seat. I'll go over the latter more in just a bit. Passengers are protected by 10 airbags throughout the interior, including knee airbags for the front occupants. Other standard safety features include blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, all speed dynamic radar cruise control, a pre collision system with pedestrian detection, automatic high beam control, lane departure alert, and even emergency roadside assistance. A heads up display is optional. There's tons of storage space throughout the interior. Along with large door pockets, there's a little cubby on the left hand side of the dash and a two tier locking glove box with a generous amount of space. In the center console, there's two cup holders, while right beneath the center stack is another small tray that houses an optional wireless phone charger, some media inputs, and a 12 volt power outlet. A refrigerated cool box is optional, otherwise, there's a cavernous center console. Aside from the analog clock in the middle of the dash, the other major change for the interior was an all new infotainment system with Lexus Remote Touch. It's a 12.3 inch display in the middle of the dash that can be split with the main section off to the left and a customizable section off to the right. It works like most other modern Lexus infotainment systems, packs all the media options you would typically expect and even some climate control data. You have a variety of apps that you can load into the system, some extra smartphone integration features and more. Now let's go ahead and see if she sounds by sitting still and on the road. The seat of the LX is incredibly luxurious, especially in this particular model which has the luxury package and the rear seat entertainment package with semi aniline leather and all of that stuff. Let me go ahead and show it all to you. So basically when you hop in, I'm 5 foot 10 and there's a tremendous amount of interior space back here. If you're over 6 feet, you're going to fit in the back no problem whatsoever. With an ideal seating position for myself up front, I probably have about five and a half, six inches of leg space and maybe about four, four and a half inches of headspace. You know, just like the front, build quality and attention to detail is some of the best in the business. Soft touch and leather galore. It's just, it's a really, really nice environment to sit in. As you would expect, it's also extremely comfortable. Not just that though, but there's so many different things that you can do with this seat from adjustments to climate control and all of that to really, really make it just an awesome vehicle to take on a long trip. So basically, across the side here, there's a little button that can power slide it forward or rearward. But if you wanted to recline it as well, there's a manual, um, like a grab handle on the outer side of the backrest here, and you can tip it back quite a lot. I mean, you can almost fold or fall completely flat. It's, it's quite impressive. And if you wanted to sit straight up, well, there you go. But this handle right here can also be used to fold and tumble this seat. So if you wanted to fold it and do all that kind of stuff for extra cargo space, you can. Uh, the primary function is so you can easily get into the back seat when you tumble it forward. And uh, we'll hop back there in just a bit. As far as features to expect back here, this one obviously has just about everything Lexus offers for it, if not everything. Uh, some of my favorite features are in the console here. Of course, it's leather wrapped. You have a little bit of storage here, but 
Integrated inside is the remote for the rear seat entertainment system. Other amenities back here, you also have adjustable seat belts for both sides in addition to the three adjustable headrests up top, adjustable air vents in addition to the ones down below, grip handles, coat hooks, LED reading lamps. There's also a bunch of storage in addition to the console here. There's some in the bottom portion of the door panel and seat back storage. So let's go ahead and hop in the third row seat. I'll show you how to do that right quick. Like I said, on the outer portion of the backrest here, there's a handle, you just flip it, fold it, and tumble it. Alrighty. So there's a surprising amount of interior space back here, a lot more than I would initially expect. But you know, when you pull this seat down right here, probably the biggest you know rate limiting factor is going to be leg space. Um, in the straight up position, or the furthest most place that it locks right here, I probably have you know probably a good four inches. It's not bad at all. But when I recline it back to probably a comfortable position, it shrinks to probably about an inch to an inch and a half or so. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess we'll go ahead and hop back out and talk about cargo space. Back here is where the versatility of the LX really comes into play. The tailgate, instead of being one piece, is split into two sections. The upper section is powered, the lower section by just the push of a button comes down with ease. There's a removable cargo net for stowing some smaller items, otherwise there's just a little bit of space behind the third row seat. If you're sitting back there, you can recline the seats for extra comfort, otherwise put the headrest down and hit the two buttons on the right side of the trunk area to flip them up out of the way, yielding 41 cubic feet of cargo space. You can electronically slide the middle row seat forward and backward about 3.5 inches or so, but you can also fold them up completely to yield a total of 83 cubic feet of space. It's really cool how the power folding mechanisms work. It certainly makes things more convenient back there. Also within the trunk area, you have LED illumination and an AC household power outlet. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the 2016 Lexus LX570. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's always a lot more where that came from. Take care everyone.